Hi, this is your host, Subhidin Bharti, and welcome to a special edition of TFR Let's Talk here at KubeCon EU in Netherlands. And today we have with us once again, Roy Ravon, CEO and co-founder of Finout. Roy, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Swap, so much for having me. Good to be, uh, uh, be on the show in person. Yeah, uh, it's KubeCon. So uh, tell us a bit about you know, your experience at the show. Yeah, so KubeCon is always, uh, it's always an amazing show. And I think uh, you know, now it's in, uh, it's in Amsterdam, and uh, uh, the event sold out like a month ago. Uh, so it's amazing to see like uh, 10,000 in-person attendees. You know the place is uh, uh, is swamped. Uh, people are uh, are working, and like in-person shows are uh, I think finally back to uh, to pre-COVID era. The topic of this month is mostly about you know cloud complexity, and when it comes to complexity, cost becomes a very big factor. When you're here at the event, how much discussion are you hearing about the the cloud cost? Because also companies are becoming more and more cost efficient and cost you know sensitive yeah so uh, cost management is uh you know, it's one of the biggest topics uh, you know on the planet at the moment. Like uh, uh, 2023 is a uh, is a rough year uh, for everyone, and uh, lots of companies are now in focus to uh, uh, to save money, to be more efficient, to uh, you know, uh, it's okay to uh, to continue to grow at all costs, but uh, like as long as you have a, a viable motion behind uh, behind the scenes to uh, to do that. Um, so. Uh, we we start to see like more and more companies starts to ask us questions about you know the financial viability and how we can translate the Kubernetes cost into uh, something that is uh, uh, more actionable and uh, how uh, how we can get uh, cost saving recommendations and how we can allocate the cost and how we can understand our profitability and. You know, Kubernetes just brings a new set of complexity into those existing problems. So uh, uh, the cloud providers are charging us by the instance, but we're actually running pods. So uh, we need to do that uh, that translation. And uh, Kubernetes gets uh, lots of uh, great stuff, uh, you know, into the picture, but also a significant level of uh, of complexion, uh, complexity, and, and overhead. So uh, we start to see, you know, Kubernetes cost as uh, it's a huge, uh, huge stuff uh, in in that QPO. Right. Can you talk about what are the factors that kind of make it harder? You know, when it comes to Kubernetes, it's hard to manage. Kubernetes is uh, essentially another level of abstraction on top of our cloud, right? So. Uh the cloud provider doesn't know that we're running Kubernetes. Uh, even if we're running, you know, EKS or those kinds of uh, those kinds of services, they're still not actively managing the Kubernetes environment. And when we're talking about resources, so what's native to the cloud provider is, is the instances, uh, storage, network. You know, these are the uh, are the billing factors that they know how to charge us. But uh, when I'm running Kubernetes, I'm using partial of uh, you know the, using those resources partially for each pod that I'm running on the cluster. So now I need to like isolate a specific pod and understand like what's its consumption directly out of the resources that the host can provide and allocate you know the proportional section directly to uh, to the host. But then it starts to get more complicated because what if the uh, uh, container is requesting more resources than what it's actually used? So how do you allocate it and what do you do with all uh, uh, you know resources that uh, were never allocated to any pod uh, that is just waste on, on the cluster. So those a bunch of calculations that constantly need to happen on uh, on Kubernetes cluster in order to uh, you know to deviate the cost uh, to uh, to the pods, and this like adds a significant level of uh, of complexity. Now, when we talk about uh, this uh, Kubernetes complexity and cloud, talk a bit about what role is Finout playing? You know how you folks are kind of you know helping organizations with taming their cloud cost. It's uh, very common to see companies running on multi-cloud and multi-services and uh, multi-whatever, right? Uh, as long as we can pay money for it, we usually are. Um, and Kubernetes is, uh, you know, uh, uh, as you mentioned, a, a commodity layer between uh, between different clouds. So. Uh, we can help companies analyze their entire cloud spend across uh, all uh, all cloud providers, but also like uh, third-party solutions like uh, uh, Datadog and Snowflake and Databricks and those kinds of uh, very expensive kind of uh, kind of software. Um, and uh, we can help them, you know, break down this cost into uh, uh, into Kubernetes resources and then allocate it, you know, to uh, what's the price per team, what's the price per. Uh, uh, Per uh, uh, whatever uh, you know, business unit of feature or product that uh, that we're running, uh, we can help them create budgets and anomalies and track down uh, you know uh, uh, cost and cost uh, uh, cost savings on uh, on those. Uh, uh, on the business side of things, and not only the technology one. Uh, then we can help companies, uh, you know. And this is something that we just uh, uh, just announced that uh, that is uh, also supported in Kubernetes. We call it uh, cost governance with uh, within uh, uh, within Finout. Uh, so. Uh, 
it doesn't matter like if we're running a, a Kubernetes pod or we're running a, a EC2 instance. Uh, we can use uh, we can use all Finout capabilities as if Kubernetes was you know uh, originated directly from the cloud provider. So cost anomalies and budgets are all uh, uh, and cost allocations are all supporting Kubernetes as well. And uh, uh, our cost optimization suite called CostGuard also now uh, can optimize Kubernetes uh, environments. So uh, we talked about it before and the distance between the uh, uh, the requested resources and the actual usage of each uh, of each resource, uh, we can identify that gap and actually put a dollar sign on it. So you know, just change from uh, uh, two gigs of RAM to one gigs of RAM because you're never using more than uh, more than one uh, can save you you know that amount of money per month, and then you can take uh, uh, you know active uh, active optimizations decisions. Based on uh, based on that, and again, it's multi cloud and multi environment and multi uh, multi everything. So Kubernetes and namespace can be spun across like three different clouds, but you don't really care. You're running that kind of abstraction, right? Uh, so with Finout, it's very native and very integrated into the solution. And every single feature that we have in Finout is also supporting uh, Kubernetes at the moment. As you said earlier, that cost is becoming a very you know important topic. How much discussion are you seeing here about you know when you talk to when folks come to your booth or when you walk around where you feel that, hey, yes, people are talking about cost, you know, efficiency, but they are looking for solutions or they do know, hey, solutions are there and they're in the phase of how to successfully implement there. So when it comes to uh, cloud cost or cost of, you know, where are we today? So I think, um, you know, lots of companies are, uh, 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 in 2021 and you know early 2022, no one cared about cost, right? So everyone, uh, we were building a cost management uh, solution. People were like, uh, yeah, but you know, uh, we can spend more money on cloud. No one cares. Uh, I think the reality changed. Um, so uh, every company is starting to look at uh, at cost management. And people, we see people like uh, walking uh, towards our booth and then like coming back. I go, oh, okay, Kubernetes cost. Like it's, it's one of uh, it's it's on my to-do list for this convention. Like I want to learn on uh, cost uh, cost management vendors. So uh, I think you know it's a uh, it's a very big uh, very big topic, uh, especially uh, uh, you know in this uh, in this KubeCon in this economy, and. Uh, it's something that companies can no longer, uh, you know, overlook and just uh, hope for the best. Uh, they start to need to uh, to deal with uh, with reality and to deal with what's uh, what's happening. And uh, uh, Finout is uh, perfectly positioned to uh, to help with that. Right. Thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about, of course, uh, the new announcement and the cost efficiency. Thanks for your insights. And we'll we'll see you again once again remotely. Yeah. Thank you, Swap. Always a pleasure. Mm -hmm.